In recent years, China has been entering the era of fifth-generation weapons with an astonishing pace of development. From the skies to the oceans, from sophisticated stealth platforms to hypersonic technology, a range of new systems is continuously emerging, challenging all traditional defense boundaries. These are not merely individual weapons, but a combination of speed, amount, range, stealth capabilities, and artificial intelligence. Ushering in an era where military superiority is shaped by data and technology rather than sheer numbers. Without relying on loud slogans, the J-20 asserts its role through an optimized stealth design for long-range air superiority. The airframe, approximately 67 feet long, with an estimated service ceiling exceeding 50,000 feet, combines a canard delta configuration with closely integrated air intakes to reduce radar cross-section while maintaining control at high angles of attack, the internal weapons bay is a critical feature. The J-20 can carry medium to long-range air-to-air missiles, such as the PL-15 series, and short-range PL-10 missiles while preserving its stealth profile. When heavy payload is needed, the beast mode external configuration allows increased firepower at the cost of a larger radar signature. Recently, Images of the J-20 firing the PL-10 missile and appearances with externally mounted PL-15 missiles reinforce assessments that the J-20 has entered a phase of more flexible operations, shifting from stealth air suppression missions to firepower deterrence when prioritizing payload. The two-seat J-20S variant is reportedly ready for combat duty, paving the way for new operational models, commanding formations, coordinating with loyal wingmen, unmanned aerial vehicles, or managing complex sensors and electronics in flight, avionics are a focal point. The Active Electronically Scanned Array, AAS radar, electro-optical search and targeting system, and high-speed data links enable the J-20 to read the air combat picture from long distances. One notable point, multiple analytical sources suggest the J-20 does not feature an internal cannon. Unlike the F-22 or F-35, this choice aligns with a doctrine prioritizing beyond visual range BBR combat relying on sensors and long-range missiles. In terms of propulsion, the domestically developed WS-15 engine program is cited as a step toward enhancing thrust and efficiency, aiming for supercruise capability and increased useful payload. On the other hand, the J-20 shares the inherent limitations of all stealth platforms. When carrying external weapons or sensor pods, its radar cross-section advantage diminishes. Missions requiring electromagnetic silence demand strict emission discipline. Overall, the J-20 is a mature heavy air combat platform. Um, stealth, integrated sensors, long-range weapons, and networked architecture, along with the two-seat variant and flexible firepower configurations, the Mighty Dragon demonstrates a force transitioning from testing to large-scale operational capability. The J-35A is a fifth-generation stealth fighter developed by Shenyang Aircraft Corporation originating from the FC-31 project and the Naval J-35 variant, but optimized for the Chinese Air Force with the goal of serving as a lower-cost counterpart to the J-20 and America's F-35. The J-35A was officially unveiled at the Zhuhai Air Show in the year 2024, with information indicating that the first units have begun delivery to the People's Liberation Army Air Force, opening the possibility of mass production in the coming years. In terms of design, the J-35A employs a twin-engine configuration instead of a single engine like the F-35, enhancing safety and supersonic performance. Though sacrificing some fuel capacity and range, the internal weapons bay is expanded to a width comparable to the J-20, allowing it to carry up to four long-range PL-15 air-to-air missiles, with the potential to carry six if a more compact missile variant emerges. The Active Electronically Scanned Array AAS radar system, optical infrared sensors, an early warning suite are arranged similarly to the F-35 standard, integrated with the C-4 ISR network to share real-time data across platforms. A notable point is that the J-35A is likened to a playmaking defender in combat formations, coordinating with the J-20 at the forefront, providing target data, launching missiles from a safe distance, or leading when the J-20 is absent. This suggests that the stealth and electronic capabilities of the J-35A have been improved over previous generations sufficient to operate independently or in coordinated formations in environments with dense air defenses. Regarding production, analysts predict that China could achieve a production rate of 100 to 150 units per year 
if the J-35A proves effective in operation and cost. The FH-97 and its variant FH-97A is a line of combat-class stealth unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs developed by Kasfi Hong. Following the loyal wingman philosophy, operating alongside manned fighter jets with a focus on the J-20, sharing sensors, carrying weapons, and taking on high-risk missions such as suppression of enemy air defenses, SEAD, decoy operations, and penetrating reconnaissance. The FH-97A was unveiled at Airshow China 2022. Described as a high-speed, medium-range UAV capable of intelligent detection, tracking, positioning, and attacking key targets. The weapons bay architecture allows it to carry up to eight small air-to-air -air missiles or loitering munitions. The pod configuration can incorporate radar, electronic warfare systems, or data link capabilities. A notable feature is the detachable booster system, enabling takeoff without a runway. Suitable for launches from field platforms or carrier ships enhancing operational mobility. In terms of role, the FH-97 and FH-97A are positioned as force multipliers for J-20 and J-16 formations, leading the way with sensors, marking targets for beyond visual range BVR firepower, drawing enemy air defense fire, or engaging in swarm tactics to overwhelm opponent defenses. The aerodynamic shape and sensor layout of the FH-97 are often compared to Western Wingman UAV classes, such as the XQ-58A and MQ-28, reflecting a global convergence in design trends. Regarding readiness, regional media indicate that the FH-97 may be the first stealth wingman UAV declared combat ready and is expected to appear at the parade commemorating the 80th anniversary of the victory on September 3rd, 2025. If confirmed, this would mark a milestone as a stealth loyal wingman transitions from prototype to openly operational status. However, performance specifications such as range, payload, and specific sensor packages remain limited in disclosure and may vary by variant. From the perspective of fourth-generation weaponry, the significance of the FH-97 and FH-97A lies not in individual technical figures, but in their integration into the C4ISR network, connecting to the active electronically scanned array AESA radar of fighter jets, data from UAVs and intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR platforms, and unified target designation to shorten the detect-decide attack cycle. When formations can deploy UAVs into red zones in place of pilots, costs and risks decrease, while the tempo of operations increases. The DFZF is a hypersonic glide vehicle, HGV developed based on the DF-17 medium-range ballistic missile, first publicly unveiled at the parade in the year 2019. The standout feature of the DFZF is its ability to fly at speeds exceeding Mach 5, equivalent to more than 3,800 miles per hour within the atmosphere, with a flexible trajectory and variable altitude, enabling shorter target approach times and reduced detectability. During the launch phase, the DF-17 propels the DFZF to high altitude before separation. In the glide phase, the DFZF can maneuver by altering its flight path and altitude, allowing it to approach targets with a more complex trajectory than traditional ballistic missiles. Publicized tests indicate an estimated range of approximately 1,550 miles, equivalent to 2,500 kilometers, sufficient to cover numerous coastal regions and distant islands. Technologically, the DFZF employs advanced heat-resistant materials to shield its structure from atmospheric friction at hypersonic speeds. Its integrated navigation system can connect data from satellites and long-range radars, enhancing accuracy when striking fixed or mobile targets. Its maneuverability and high speed make the DFZF considered difficult to intercept by existing missile defense systems, which are designed for traditional ballistic trajectories. However, this also presents significant technical challenges for its development, particularly in maintaining stable flight control and ensuring data communication under harsh aerodynamic conditions. The emergence of the DFZF signifies a substantial leap forward for China in the field of hypersonic technology, one of the most cutting edge research areas in the global aerospace and defense industries today. The Type 055, also known as the Renhai class, is the leading destroyer cruiser class of the Chinese Navy, designed to undertake multi-layered combat missions, escort aircraft carriers, and control distant maritime regions. With a displacement of 12,000 to 13,000 tons, 
The Type 055 is currently the most powerful surface warship in Asia and ranks among the most advanced warships in the world. Construction of the Type 055 began with the Nanchang in the year 2014, launched in the year 2017, and officially commissioned at the beginning of the year 2020. Within just three years, the first eight ships were completed at two major shipyards in Shanghai and Dalian. Several additional ships are in the process of further completion, demonstrating a rapid construction pace comparable to the world's leading naval programs. The weaponry of the Type 055 is considered its most outstanding feature. The ship is equipped with 112 vertical launch system VLS cells, with 64 cells at the front and 48 cells at the rear, capable of carrying a mix of HHQ-9 air defense missiles, YJ-18 anti-ship missiles with a range of up to 290 nautical miles, approximately 335 miles, as well as anti-submarine missiles or future land attack missiles. Additionally, the ship features a 130mm naval gun, a 30mm close-in weapon system, CIWS for close-range defense, short-range HHQ-10 missile launchers, anti-submarine torpedoes, and a hangar with space for two Z-20 or Z-9 helicopters. The electronic systems on the Type 055 integrate the Type 346B Active Electronically Scanned Array, AES radar with four active scanning arrays, a bow sonar, a variable depth towed sonar, along with numerous electronic warfare, laser warning, and advanced navigation systems. The combined gas and gas COGAG turbine propulsion system allows the ship to reach speeds of 30 nautical miles per hour, approximately 34.5 miles per hour with an operational range of 5,000 nautical miles, approximately 5,750 miles at a cruising speed of 18 nautical miles per hour, with a length of 591 feet a width of 66 feet, and a crew of more than 300 personnel. The Type 055 is regarded as a mobile floating command center, capable of coordinating operations with aircraft carriers, submarines, and long-range air defense and anti-ship forces, reflecting a significant advancement in China's naval modernization. The YJ-19 is one of the most prominent technological advancements in China's aerospace industry marking the first time the country publicly showcased a hypersonic cruise missile powered by a scramjet engine at a military parade. With a supersonic combustion ramjet scramjet engine design, the YJ-19 can sustain speeds exceeding Mach 5 for extended periods, far surpassing missile models that rely solely on rocket boosters or atmospheric glide technology. A distinctive feature of the YJ-19 is its prominent air intake on the fuselage, indicating it is an air-breathing system a technology once considered a major barrier in hypersonic weaponry. The scramjet enables the compression and combustion of supersonic airflow without slowing it below the speed of sound, allowing the missile to fly faster, conserve fuel, and achieve greater range compared to previous designs. To achieve this, engineers had to overcome numerous challenges, temperatures reaching thousands of degrees Celsius, shockwave phenomena, and trajectory stability at extremely high speeds. The public appearance of the YJ-19 demonstrates that China has made significant progress, bringing technology once confined to laboratories into practical application. With its hypersonic speed, the YJ-19 shortens the reaction time of radar systems, compelling defense forces to develop entirely new networks of sensors, early warning systems, and interception capabilities. Furthermore, China's introduction of the YJ-19 alongside other missiles, such as the YJ-15, YJ-17, and YJ-20 indicates that the country is building a multi-layered hypersonic weapon ecosystem, combining glide missiles, cruise missiles, and ballistic missiles to create a diverse and flexible attack platform. The appearance of the YJ-19 is not only a technical achievement, but also ushers in a new era of next-generation hypersonic missiles, where speed, maneuverability, and extended range will reshape the entire defense strategy in the future. Looking at the bigger picture, the emergence of a series of fifth-generation weapons demonstrates that China is transitioning from the phase of technological experimentation to real-world combat capabilities on a larger scale. The combination of stealth, hypersonic technology, integrated sensor networks, and artificial intelligence not only enhances deterrence strength, but also redefines the way modern warfare is conducted. However, this process also reveals challenges, from ensuring logistical supply chains and maintaining performance in harsh combat environments 
to countering new interception technologies developed by adversaries. Nevertheless, it is clear that China is laying the foundation for a new ecosystem of next-generation weapons where speed, data, and multi-domain coordination become the decisive factors in shaping the balance of power in the future.